Greetings from a city of statistics. This is the fourth largest city in North America. This is the safest metropolis in North America. This is the city with the third highest percentage of immigrants anywhere in the world. It's a massive multicultural mosaic, a big time city flexing its big time biceps of iron and steel. It's not particularly beautiful, but it's intriguing. It's eclectic. It's cool. Welcome to Toronto. First stop on our Eastern Explorer tour with Scenic. I read about this street. It claims to be what the world's longest street. This is the world's longest oh, street. I'm dubious uh, about that claim. 1,900 kilometers from the shores of Lake Ontario all the way out to Thunder Bay. Seriously? Serious. Well, okay. So well, the, the yeah. road jogs a little bit. It changes oh, names once or twice. Yeah. Guinness actually took the record name away from us in 1999, there you go. but we're hanging on to it here in Toronto. Of course you are. Well, ain't that a kooky skewer pinning Toronto to the planet? I guess it's about as cool as concrete gets, though. The CN Tower exists primarily as a telecommunications hub, but surely there's got to be something else going on. 350 metres above the comforting earth of Toronto is the CN Tower's glass floor. Although only six centimetres thick, its weight has been road tested by all manner of, no doubt, curious beast. It's unbelievable when you think that they've actually bought 3.5 orca up here, 35 moose, even 3,493 raton laveur, which to you and me are raccoons. So providing I'm not as heavy as any of those, this should be okay. But it's the first step that's always the hardest. Oh, hey. In 1847, 38,000 Irish men, women and children fled the famine decimating their homeland and arrived here in Toronto. It was quite unbelievable because at the time, Toronto was a city of 20,000 people. In one fell swoop, the Irish almost tripled the population here. It wasn't an immediate fine Irish blend, but eventually the Irish were regarded as invaluable, particularly in the construction of infrastructure and for the flavour that they added to the city. Realising that where there were Irish, there'd be a thirst for whisky. Brothers-in-law William Gooderan and James Watts left the UK for Toronto, built a distillery and made a fortune from liquor. I've got to say, it's quite a vast area, really, isn't it? It's 13 acres of nationally protected heritage property uh, just east of the downtown core. It's actually the largest area of Victorian industrial architecture in the entire world. Of course it is. Of course it is. Perhaps because of the gentle whiff of whiskey from days of a glorious past hanging on the breeze, Chris seemed somewhat insistent that I try one or two of the flavours found here. I've heard you have um, legendary status as an ice cream maker in Toronto. I guess you've heard right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man of great modesty. <laughs> well, what am I going to say? We tell the truth at Greg's. It's all about the truth. Right. And is it true, therefore, that you have beer ice cream? We've got some lager and we've got some stout. Is that beer, right? That's beer, yeah. yeah. Beer. And ice cream. Who knew? Who knew? Blows my mind. One and a half hours drive from the heart of Toronto is the pounding heartbeat that draws tourists to the region like a leech to an open vein. This year is a mesmerizing force. Is there anywhere else on the planet that combines such utter majesty with such sheer rage and power? The power of Niagara Falls has gouged the border between the US there and Canada right here. One fifth of the world's fresh water muscles its way over these falls at a rate of a million bathtubs a minute. 20,000 visitors a day, including all scenic guests, climb aboard a hornblower cruise to discover that what begins as a seemingly leisurely tootle upriver past America's Bridal Vale Falls soon becomes something rather more ominous as the thunder of Niagara begins to quicken the pulse of the passengers in pink. Well, this is the experience. There's a hell of a lot of mist and water going around here. But the power here is extraordinary. They're not the highest falls in the world. In fact, they're weighted at only 50-something. But it's all about the volume. The volume is intense. 